Hi, my name is Miroslav. I'm the lead designer at Scout Paramotors. In this video, I would like to show you how to install the steerable reserve parachutes on the Scout Paramotor. It's simple, yet there are a few details to pay attention to, so let's do it. I have a brand new steerable reserve parachute. Uh, just came from the manufacturer. We will install these steerable reserve parachutes into the Scout harness. The Scout has a built-in container under the seat in the harness. Uh, the reserve parachute comes with a container, but we will unpack it from this container and use the container that comes with the Scout. So, here's the container that comes with every Scout and fits the Scout harness perfectly. As you see, the Scout container is a little bit different in size, so we will take out the reserve parachute from the original container, repack it to make it a little wider and thinner and put it into this container so it fits the Scout harness perfectly. So, be careful unpack it from the original container It was simple and easy, now we are done, we are ready to install the reserve parachute into the scalp harness. Now we are about to install the container onto the scout harness. As you can see, here are already prepared bridles for reserve parachute. As the re steerable reserve parachute has its own bridles, we are not going to use these. So I'm taking out. If you're installing a steerable reserve parachute that already has its own bridles, you need to cut these ones away. For the purposes of this demonstration video, I'm going to keep them. So here are the bridles of the steerable reserve parachute. We're going to install it into the loops that are already there on the harness. Pay attention to the right and left bridle to install them correctly. This one is marked as right, it's going to the right side, the other one obviously to the left. Make sure you attach the carabiner not only to this upper strap, but onto a small loop that is beneath. Now I'm going to attach the right bridle onto the right side, but we need to secure the bridle from moving on the carabiner with these little rubber loops. So start with the loop, place it onto the carabiner, then twist once, put the bridle through the loop, onto the carabiner, and then take the loop Make another twist. In fact, this is the same system as most paraglider manufacturers use to secure the lines on the risers. 
Now I'm going to hide the bridles into the protective tunnel. So after the bridles are in place, we need to put the container under the seat. So here is it. You're gonna need two lines like this to help you to put these little loops in place. So, just put the, put the line through, like this, and another one, like this. Take the container and place it with the handle facing the right side. You start with the bottom flap. And then with the side flap. Here, secure the bridle tunnel with the Velcro. Okay. So let's, just, uh, let's start with the side flap. Guys, this is really best if you have a body to help you. But it's possible to do it on the loan as well. Now the right side flap. Notice there is space left for the reserve handle. So make sure you place it from the top. Now the top flap, just open it like this. This reserve parachute is a little larger, so it's a little bit tight, but it's gonna fit. Okay, now take the hook and put it through the white loop. And the last one. We are almost at the end. Now pull this, I'm going to remove this line but I'm going to pull slowly, so I'm not going to burn the material of the white loops. And I'm pulling downwards, so the hook remains in place. One.
place the cover in place and the last simple thing to do is to put the handle and secure with the velcro this is how it's done i hope this video was helpful for you if you do have any questions or problems please don't hesitate to contact your contact your dealer or us directly uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss the next tips and tricks in the future thanks for watching fly safe and enjoy